Westphalian sort of way is to think of it as a nation state. Um, but I think there is also the idea somewhere in there of that we are ultimately a civilizational state. And in that we are not very unique. Uh, there are many other civilizational states uh, in existence uh, through history and even today. Uh, China itself consciously thinks of itself as a civilizational state. Uh, Iran is a civilizational state. Um, in some ways, maybe Israel is an attempt to reconstruct a civilizational state. And there have mm. been such states in the past. I mean, for example, the Greeks thought of themselves, the ancient Greeks thought of themselves as a civilization, uh, civilizational uh, group in the sense that while they were, um, you know, fighting amongst themselves most of the time, but whenever the Persians turned up, <laughs> uh, it was quite a different matter. So there is, this is neither a completely new nor a completely unique thing that we think of ourselves as a civilizational state. But of course, in practical terms, in constitutional terms, we uh, are also a modern nation state. And in some ways, that is India. And in that sense that it occupies the geographical state of historical India. So that is, these are the various things that incidentally were not something we discovered today. Uh, this was something in the back of the minds of those who were writing the Indian constitution. And indeed there were debates about this matter in the constituent assembly. And that is why they ultimately consciously wrote the constitution begins with the term India that is Bharat. That is why it is very important to understand that it is both and that they are not quite the same thing, although they coincide for the purposes mm -hmm. of the state that we are creating. Mm -hmm.